Hi students, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a data table and graph for your Insulator Challenge lab report. So first you're going to click on Insert, you scroll down to where it says Chart, and click on Column. That's going to bring this chart up. Go ahead and resize it so it's not too big. And we're going to edit this to fit our insulating design challenge. Click on the arrow here and go to open source. Okay, so you'll notice here we have the graph. And if you scroll up, we have the data. Now this data is does not match what we have, so we're going to change it. So instead of team one, team two, team three, team four, we're going to go ahead and delete this to say prototype one, and then prototype two, and prototype three. Oops, because we did three prototypes. Go ahead and highlight where it says team four and just delete it so we get rid of that. We're also going to delete where it says period period two because we don't need a column. We only have one. Let's label the period one uh, column as change in oops in temperature. And we'll put degrees cells. There you go just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and in insert your data. So let's say the first insulating sleeve, I got a change in temperature of five, then I got a change in temperature of four, and then I had a change in temperature of 10. And as you change the data here, you can see that the, the graph has also changed. It makes a nice visual representation of your data. The last thing we want to change is this graph's title is not about points, right? It's about the change in temperature. So you're going to highlight that, and you're going to call it change in temperature of each prototype. OK, so we change the label to say change in temperature of each prototype. And there you go, OK? Then, when you go back to your slides, there's going to be a little button that says update. You're going to go ahead and click on update, and there you go, voila. We have the updated chart in our Google Slides. The last, this is the graph. It also says we need a data table. So we're going to copy and paste the data table from our graph page to the results page. So go back to the tab where it shows the graph, you're going to click and highlight the cells that we had the data, and you're going to edit, copy, okay? Then you go back to your Google Slides, and you go edit, paste. Uh, and then go ahead and link to spreadsheet. When you do that, we have a nice data table that we can click and drag to our little space here. And so you have a data table, and we have a graph that represents it. And that's it.